Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mizo Tech TV. Today I want to show you how to prepare your Apple device just in case you want to sell it or give it away as a gift or even start brand new. So stay tuned, let's do it. Okay folks, let's get started. So you should be at your um, home screen, whether it's on your iPod or your iPad or your iPhone. but I'm gonna use this for I'm gonna use my iPad for an example. So go ahead and unlock your iPad. So this is the scenario. We either want to give this iPad out to we either want to give this iPad away or we want to sell this iPad. You might want to put it on Craigslist or um, you might have found a potential buyer and you just want to get rid of a lot of uh, sensitive information, photos, documents, and things like that. First thing you want to make sure that you do is plug in your iPad, iPod, or iPhone into your Apple computer or your Windows computer and make sure you back up your your photos and iTunes if you haven't done so. So let's get started. So the first thing that you do is you click on the settings uh, icon, which is here. All right. So let me go ahead and do that again. It's the icon that's gray with like gears. There's about two layered gears on the uh, on here. So what you want to do is you want to click on that gear. You might have it on your home page or you might have it on a second on your on your second screen I'm not sure how you have your iPad set up a lot of people have their iPads set up differently different things are in different folders so you just would have to find it but it's called settings so go ahead and click settings now by default when you click settings you should be in the general tab um, and you can see that the general tab is highlighted in blue so once you go into the general tab, you want to go over to the right where you have all your options over in the general tab and just scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And when you look at the very bottom, you'll see an option that says reset. OK, at the very, very bottom, there's an option, which is the last option called reset. So go ahead and click that reset button or tab or not even a tab but maybe a link we will call it so now we're in the reset section of the Apple device and like I said this applies to all the Apple devices so you may have an iPhone you may have an iPad you may have an a uh, a um, uh, um, iPhone iPad whatever whatever device that you that you have this applies to all so we have a couple options here to um, to reset our device we can reset our device in many ways we can reset all settings which is you know your um, your network settings your Bluetooth settings your your um, your wallpaper it, it'll just reset all that and bring it to a fresh start or we can reset or we can erase all content and settings so pretty much that is everything in a nutshell and this is the option that we want we want to erase all content and settings okay so remember we want to erase all content and settings we don't want to reset the network settings that's the next option we don't want to reset the keyboard dictionary reset home screen layout or reset location and privacy um, you could do those options if you want to or if you need to um, those are good to know that they're available to you so go ahead and click that reset um, uh, link now I'm not going to reset this iPad because if I do then uh, we won't have a video so go ahead and click that reset uh, link so once you click that reset link, it'll bring up a dialog box that says erase iPod, iPad or whatever the name of your 
your iPad or Apple devices. It'll say this will de delete all media and data and reset all settings. And that's exactly what we need. We want that because we want to sell our iPad or we want to give it away as a gift. You want you don't want to have any any uh, photos of you or any documents or, or you know your your web page settings because Safari saves a lot of passwords and and uh, login information when you log on to pages and you don't want to have someone else have access to those things I mean it's 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 really a pain in the butt when you have to recover from um, identity theft so we want to watch out for those things because it's very important there's there's a lot of different aspects of your device because it was yours it was it was your you know it was a part of your life so we want to make sure we follow these steps exactly so it'll ask you this will delete all media and data and reset all settings just click that erase button and then it'll erase everything off your iPad now remember you want to have your iPad plugged in if you don't have a lot of uh, battery life I would suggest having at least 75% of battery life left, um, but I would recommend that you plug it in into a uh, power outlet. But um, go ahead and click that erase. Now I'm not going to click it, so I'm going to cancel out of this because this will just erase this iPad and I don't want to erase my iPad at the moment. But once you do that, it'll go through this process and after it resets itself, you can either leave it how it is, or if you want to confirm that it was erased, you can go through maybe one or two steps of the startup. But I would recommend if you're going to sell it, let it reset itself. It'll take you back to the welcome screen, kind of like, uh, you know, welcome to your new device and uh, go ahead and give it to who you're going to give it to, sell it to or pass down or whatever. So I hope this video was able to help you guys on what you what you're trying to accomplish and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below I'm always willing to answer any questions and if you like the video please like and if you want to see more videos um, of these different tutorials please subscribe there's that little that's that red button right below the video it says subscribe every time when I get a video it'll come right to you and you can see if it interests you or not so thank you peace